welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we have another episode of Nailed It. And for those of you who are new to this series, this is a series where a group of us get together every other Sunday and we recreate or make a particular look our own. So today we chose a look from Danessa Myricks and she calls this look Angel Face. This is taken from her Instagram. And all of the participants, by the way, are listed down below and linked to their videos down in the description box. So please be sure to check them out. I do have a couple of extra special participants. Stay tuned to the very end and you will see their photos there. And one more note, I'm playing with my lighting. So let me know what you think of the lighting in this video. Is it better or worse than usual? Uh, you know, I'm still just starting to play around with it. So any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Now for this week's episode, we decided to use a Danessa Myricks photo in particular, because not only does she have absolutely gorgeous, uh, you know, photos and looks and so forth, but she just launched at Sephora. So you can now buy Danessa Myricks products from Sephora as of Friday, this past Friday. So we're going to be doing this in honor of her new launch. Now, this particular look, I, you know, it's gorgeous. I am absolutely in love with the lips. I don't think I have quite the right color, but we're gonna go ahead and experiment with a few things and see if we can get something that is similar. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. For the base, I am starting off with the Dior Forever Skin Veil Primer. This is a tinted moisturizing primer, and I have to say, it's the most moisturizing primer I have ever used. Now, surprisingly, a lot of times when I use a moisturizing primer, I find that they're not compatible with all of my foundations, but so far, it's been compatible with everything that I've tried. So we're gonna test out another one today. You know, I think, it looks like she's got some kind of like a matte radiance on her skin. Oops, always oh, dropping things. So I think today we're gonna go ahead and use the Clay de Peau Radiant Fluid Foundation. And I use shade I-10. You know what, before I put this on, actually, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Merit Stick right under my eyes just for a little concealer. And I wanna put this on underneath so that the foundation really blends with it well. I'm gonna be using the Surratt foundation brush today and I'm just gonna kind of stipple this on first. And then I'm gonna stipple on the other side a little bit and then I'll blend out. So as it dries a little bit, it provides a little bit more coverage. Now this particular foundation brush, it's not the softest. So I actually don't use it a ton, but it performs so well. And I know it's dirty now, but it is actually a stippling brush. So that means that you've got hairs of varying lengths. You've got some longer ones and some shorter ones. And that really does help give like this beautiful airbrushed finish to the skin. So I really love the performance I get from this brush, but it is a little scratchy. So when my skin is ultra dry, it's just, it's a little bit too harsh for me just because you know, if your skin's a little dry and it's starting to like get to the point where you're gonna get like flakes and stuff, this kind of exacerbates it in my opinion. So if you've got super sensitive skin that's very sensitive to touch, I wouldn't recommend this particular brush just because I think it's a little bit too rough. But otherwise it performs amazingly well. All right, so that's gonna be it for foundation. And again, you can see just how well this primer works underneath. You know, it's moisturizing. My skin feels moist and dewy, but I still have, you know, that matte effect from the foundation and there's no like separation or anything, which is really nice. So before we move on to the rest of the face, I'm going to bring you in closer and we are going to do eyes. 
So now that I'm up close, you can really see how well the foundation performs over the primer. I'm impressed because with the Victoria Beckham Priming Moisturizer, it's not compatible with all of my foundations. Like I have had issues with this one and yeah, I, I was expecting to have issues with it just because it feels so emollient on the face, but it really didn't. All right, so onto the eyes and it looks like there's probably some sort of like brown or nude base in this case on her eyes and then she's got this beautiful like purpley silver color and there's a little bit of gold glitter on top of that so we're going to do our best i'm going to start off with the danessa myricks color fix this is a matte shade in the shade exposed and i'm just going to take a little bit of this and i'm going to use this as my base so i'm going to apply this with my fingers so just taking a little bit here. So wiped off my fingers. I'm just taking, this is the Isam V33 brush and there's nothing on it. I'm just using this to kind of buff out the edges a little bit. Now these color fix products, they set down and don't really budge. Like they really will last all day. So you kind of have to work quickly. I should have actually buffed before doing the other eye, but oh well. And next, I don't have a shade quite like that, but I feel like Chantecaille, this is the pangolin shade. I feel like this has a similar effect on my eyes. So I'm going to use this wet. So I'm going to take the Isam V27. These are synthetic, the V series, by the way, from Isam. V stands for vegan. This is a set of synthetic brushes. So I'm going to get this dampened with the Evian spray water. All right, so I'm taking my dampened brush into Pangolin and we're going to put this on the lid. And I'm just gonna put this all over. I chose this brush in particular because when you're working with metallic shades like this, something flat holds onto the pigment well without fallout. And this one in particular, you can see how short it is. It makes it easier for me to have control when I'm trying to place it directly. So I thought this would be a good choice. So that's gonna be my eye color. I feel like theirs is a little bit more purple. Let me think about that. So I'm wondering if maybe I should add in a little bit of the crane shade into this to get a little bit more purple on here. So after I do this eye, we're gonna pull that one out and take a look at Crane. Maybe we can like pat some on a little bit. All right, so I dampened the brush a little bit again and we're gonna go into Crane. You can see that it's gonna be a little bit deeper and let's just lightly kind of Pat this on all over just to kind of deepen the color. Okay, I think this is a better shade. All right, so with the brush still damp from before, I'm just adding a little bit more pangolin to the inner corner and just lightly kind of tapping it all over just to kind of have a blend of the two shades. So I've got more brightness on the inner corner. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to go into Pangolin and I'm going to use the tip of this and just kind of put this all underneath.
All right, so now I'm going back with the V33. And honestly, I don't see any like separate liner or anything on her eyes. I'm just gonna soften the edges on this a little bit. And you know, it's nice. She actually kept everything kind of contained to the mobile lid. It doesn't look like anything's really going out like it would with like a cat eye or anything like that. So it's kind of more, you know, my typical aesthetic. Now to finish up the eyes, we're taking the Color Fix. This is a foil in the shade Milky Way, and it's basically like a sparkle topper. Look at this. See that? So I'm going to take some of this on my finger here, and I'm just going to tap this over the whole lid. So the Shantakai shades are sparkly already, but I'm going to add a little bit more sparkle with this. And, you know, this would have been better if I had something more gold, but... We're working with what we have. So that's kind of the point of Nailed It is not to buy anything new for these challenges. So if you can't make it work, you adjust. All right, this looks super sparkly. Just going back in with the V33, and I wipe this off on my cloth every time in between uses. So it is clean every time, and I'm just kind of blending away a little bit of that extra glitter. By the way, this foil shade, I've worn this a few times. And there's like no fallout from this. It's basically like glitter already embedded in like a glitter glue type base. So it doesn't, doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna wash my hands before we move on to the rest of my face, be right back. Okay, looking a bit closer at the photo, it looks like there is a very thin line of black eyeliner right against the lashes. And it could be maybe they're using false lashes and you know how you can use like a little extra liner just to do that. I can't tell if it's that or not because it's a very, very fine line. So we're going to go ahead and just add a tiny bit of the Jones Road. This is just their, their black pencil. Just going to add a little bit right along the lashes. And it doesn't look like it extends past the eye. So for mascara today, I am taking the Victoria Beckham Future Lash. Now for blush today, I'm gonna to use the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush in Bread and Butter. I've actually had this for a while, but haven't tried it yet. So we're just gonna dab a little bit here and start with fingers. Okay, that's a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Just wipe some of that off. All right, that time I guess I went in with too little. All right, I like that. I'm gonna take the foundation brush and just kind of buff the edges of this a little bit, just so it looks a little bit more natural flush. Then for highlight, I'm taking the Surat Torche Lumiere in Diamante. There is a gold version of this that I do not have. So this is the, the closest I've got. To me, I think it looks like her highlight is a little bit golden. So it looks to me like it kind of curls around the blush a little bit. There's a little bit of radiance there. And then 
little bit here, just kind of spread that out. But I think a lot of the center of the face stuff is, I'm getting some on my finger, is actually the um, lighting. So just put a little bit underneath and above the lip here. And put a little bit on the, the nose. So right here and on the tip, but leaving the middle. And I want a little bit more of a highlight without so much sparkle. So I'm taking the Ritual to Fee in Ice Bell. I'm just gonna get a little bit of this and put this on the cheeks here and blend this again. Just gonna add a little bit more here. And then I'm taking the Refer 20 brush and the Chanel Pearl de Lumiere. And I'm just gonna give a very light, soft brush to the cheeks because this is gonna be a more golden shade. It's gonna, because the highlight I use is gonna be cooler tone, which suits me better. So just add a little bit of gold to that as well. For the brows, I don't think I can do that. So we're going to start by just taking, this is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush. There's nothing on it. Just going to kind of brush these up a little bit, see what they look like. And I'm just going to put the Syrah brow pomade on them. I'm not going to feather them in or anything like that. We'll just keep them kind of plain today. So I have the brow pomade in clear, which is the original, but they are launching a tinted version this week. So it's already pre-order on Saks, but I asked Surat when they were releasing it on their site and they should be coming out with it this week. So the Saks pre-order won't be available till the end of the month. So. I, I want to try it. I've been waiting for it. I know this was, I think it was supposed to come out earlier and then the pandemic, of course, pushed everything back. So that's kind of the closest I'm going to get with her brows. Unfortunately, my brow hairs are actually on the longer side. So brushing them straight up doesn't work as well. And I just can't get that nice feathery look that she has. It's just not something that I think I can achieve. Now let's move on to lips, which is my favorite part. Now for lips, I have a few options. She's got this beautiful like plum berry. So these are the ones, I pulled a few that I think might work. So this is the Linda Hallberg in Garnet. This one might be a little bit too red. We have the Tom Ford in number 78, Love Crime. Uh, that's going to be too bright. Darn, I was really thinking that was going to be it. Lisa Eldridge, Velvet Myth. I think that one's too bright also. And then I grabbed Velvet Midnight. It looks like Velvet Midnight is the winner, but I actually, I kind of want to see Love Crime mixed with Velvet Midnight. So we're going to do Velvet Midnight as a base, and then we'll add in some Love Crime. And then if you notice, she's got like a lot of sparkle on there. We're going to add some of the color fix milky way again on top of that so let me start with this so i'm going to start by lining my lips with the pat mcgrath liner in deep void let me just show you what that one looks like here you can see it's like a deep deep eggplant purple i'm just going to sharpen this real quickly Okay, so this is all of the lining I'm gonna do on my lips. It does look a bit, well, let's even that out a little bit. It looks a little brighter in the middle. So I wanna keep it a little bit lighter there. Velvet Midnight.
So this is definitely way, way deeper. So I blotted the color down and now I'm taking the Tom Ford Love Crime. It's still way too dark. I'm gonna take this off. So I decided to just wipe it off so I still have color there. It's a little messy at the moment. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of Midnight on. Now I'm going back with Love Crime. Okay, so this shade, I think, I think this is the closest I'm gonna get. I think this is pretty good. I'm just gonna clean up the edges now with a lip brush. I'm gonna take the Esam T09. So I have a little bit of Velvet Midnight on the brush and I'm just gonna kinda go around the outside with this. All right, so this is gonna be it for my lips. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Milky Way shade here. Don't need a lot. And I'm going to tap this all over, but I'm going to try to do it lightly. It doesn't look like there's like a heavy coat. Let's get a little bit more. All right. So I think I need to actually infuse it a little bit more with the gloss. So I added a little bit more on here and I just need a clear gloss. I'm taking the Jones Road clear gloss. And I'm going to put this on my lips first. Okay, so now I'm taking a little bit of Milky Way on my finger. And I want this to kind of mix with the gloss more. And I think that's it. All right, so this is my final look. Let me back you out a bit. All right, her hair is pulled back, so I pulled mine back a little bit so you can see the makeup a bit better. Again, let me know what you think of this lighting. Is it too harsh? But this is my final look. And let me show you the regular lighting real quickly. So this is my normal lighting. So let me know which one you prefer, something kind of in between. I can still tweak some things. So I would love to get your feedback. So before I go, I did wanna share a couple of photos from some additional participants who saw the photo and wanted to try themselves. So here you go. So please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Again, all participants for the Nailed It series are listed in the description box, so be sure to check them out. And if you would like to participate, I would be happy to post your photo the, with the next episode. So if you are interested, you know, you can send me a DM on Instagram and I'm at Alexis Jong and I'd be happy to hear from you. So thanks so much, have a great day. Stay safe and healthy. And again, if you enjoyed this, thumbs up, subscribe, and all that jazz. Thanks again. Have a great day.